Picture this. A farmer needs to destroy the weeds near his crops, but it'd take way too long to do it himself. So instead, he unleashes a robot armed with three cameras. The robot creates a digital image of each broccoli seedling as it goes by, and in less than a second, it locates the broccoli. From there, it knows what's a plant and what's a weed, and the robot's metal blades dig into the soil, destroying weeds and leaving the sprouts untouched. That's what the FarmWise Titan robot does, which was launched in 2021. And it's nothing new. Autonomous robots are helping make farmers' jobs a lot more efficient all over the world. In fact, the agricultural robot market was estimated at $13.4 billion in 2023. And it's growing so fast, it's projected to hit $86 billion by 2033. So let's show you some very surprising ways these robots are changing the entire agriculture industry. We'll start in the Netherlands with drones that can actually kill moths in mid-air. Rob Ban runs Coppert Cress, a company that distributes seedlings, plants, and flowers to restaurants. But in 2021, Ban wanted a little more protection from the insects damaging his herbs. So he reached out to Pat's Indoor Drone Solutions, which builds autonomous drones to eliminate pest insects. These drones use smart technology and special cameras to scour all the airspace in a greenhouse, and the drone kills moths instantly as it collides with them in midair. The result? Less crop losses, less use of insecticide, and what would have been a labor-intensive process is done in mere minutes by a robot. But Bond didn't want these drones killing good insects in his greenhouses. In fact, ladybugs and bumblebees actively help the growth of these plants. But these drones can detect the difference between helpful and harmful insects, and Bond has been pleased with the result. Every night, these drones take out all the moths in his greenhouses, without any human labor or human intervention. And it's just one small way that autonomous robots are helping out growers and farmers. Let us know in the comments below if you ever heard of drones being used like this. Another way in which drones can help farmers is by harvesting flowers. Gerberas are fragile flowers grown in greenhouses and picked by hand. It's a lot of hard work, but what if robots were used instead? A study was conducted using an autonomous robot with several robot arms that could harvest at least 2,000 flowers per hour. The camera detects flowers ready to harvest, and the robot uses a gripper from above and cuts the stem. The robot can do this for multiple flowers at the same time, and instead of using a camera and 3D visualizations to find the stem like past prototypes, this new robot can detect the flower and then has its robot arm go about 1.5 inches below it, since that's logically the only place the stem could be. Though while this robot is still being developed and isn't on the market yet, there are a lot of reasons to be excited for flower growers. Another reason for farmers to be excited? Robotic pollinating. An AI farming company in Israel has created the world's first robot that can successfully replicate buzz pollination. Armed with cameras and AI-based computer vision, their robot recognized any flowers that were ready to pollinate, and then the robot applied calibrated air pulses to that flower alone. When the robot, which they named Polly, was tested in greenhouses, there was up to a 20% higher yield than manual pollination. This could be huge because it can reduce the dangers of using bees, like the spread of diseases. And these robots would also be able to work in both hot and cold temperatures, when bees are usually inefficient. Let's continue with Farmer Joe Bot, a project from Robotic Perception, an agricultural robotics company. They're making a robot that can autonomously mow and spray crops, which includes a web app that you can monitor it from. The vehicle is equipped with sensors and cameras all over, and an AI monitors crop growth analysis, crop yields, virus detection, and irrigation requirements. It also has a fully electric mower with various modes, as well as a mounted sprayer that can either go on full spray mode or precision mode to only spray when it detects trees nearby. A vehicle that can do all that allows the farm to manage over half its operations remotely, which cuts down on operational costs, reduces risk of injury, and lessens the use of chemicals. 
And while some robots can be used for multiple crops, sometimes tech has to be programmed specifically for one crop. Israeli farmers have been struggling with high labor costs, and only 1% of all Israeli workers are employed in the agriculture industry. So Meadow Motion has raised $10 million since it was founded in 2017 to help Israeli farmers with the huge labor shortage problem. They've developed a robot that can do labor-intensive tomato picking much faster and more efficiently than a human can. Why tomatoes? Because 50% of all production costs for tomato growers are labor expenses. But their robot will help cut that down immensely. Let's take a look to see what it can do. The robot has two arms that's able to pick tomatoes on both sides of a row at the same time. It has an AI-powered 3G sensor vision technology that can generate a map of the plant and its crop. It can distinguish between ripe and unripe tomatoes, and it cuts and catches the tomato branch. The robot then places the fruit on a conveyor belt, while the robotic arm removes any hidden stems without damaging the crop. The robot also has sensors to detect anything in its way to avoid obstacles and accidents as it does all of this. These tomato harvesting robots can cut labor costs for harvesting by about 90% and cut production costs in half. If you deploy five of these robots in a 540,000 square feet greenhouse, they'll need just one week for the tomato harvest. And they're not limited to just picking the tomatoes either. As they're moving around the greenhouse, they're also collecting data from its sensors on the ripeness, quantity, and size of each tomato. And as a result, the farmer now has more data to work with and can more accurately generate the yield forecast. As of 2024, Mito Motion is still a startup and seeking funds to scale up their production of robots. But while the demand is strong for robots in agriculture, there's a downside as well. And the big one is price. Fully autonomous robots are expensive and autonomous tractors or fruit picking robots would come with a high price tag. So farmers strapped for cash wouldn't have the same access to these robots as others might. The other issue is with time. Fully autonomous tractors and robots aren't expected to be fully operational until after 2025, so more innovation and investment in these projects would be needed until then. But it's hard not to be excited about the future of the agriculture industry. Robots and AI are revolutionizing everything we thought we knew about planting and harvesting. And the new tech isn't replacing farmers. Rather, it's making life easier on farmers and growers, so they can be more efficient while cutting down labor costs. We'd love to hear which drone application you like the most. Share your favorite with us in the comments below. With that said, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date to the evolving world of farming.